Good morning, my diamonds. You know, there are things in life that are appropriate and things that are not in a, that are inappropriate. And there are just some things that we do not need to be teaching to our children in the classrooms. And when you look at the kind of things that they are teaching our children here in America, and you compare what they're teaching our children in comparison to what they teach the Asians, like Koreans, Chinese, Japanese, Indian people, they don't have this type of nonsense going on in their classrooms the way that we do. Let's take a listen to this uh, beautiful lady here and how we should take more pride when it comes to educating our children. And then let's come back and discuss it. Here we go. I'm here to tell you, we do not need to be teaching this radical LGBT grooming agenda in schools. It's one thing if parents want to do that on their own time, that is a parent's right to do that with some exceptions, of course. But to bring this in and bake this into a public school curriculum is wrong. And meanwhile, Chinese students are learning quantum physics and we've got our students learning how to twerk from drag queens. It's not going to end well. This is grooming. This is ideological mind control. It's introducing this to a group of individuals, especially to young kids who have no business learning any of this sexually explicit material. This is not about being anti-gay or as the incorrectly labeled Rhonda Sanders' bill, don't say gay. This is about keeping this out of the classroom because it does not belong there. This is a grooming agenda. It is extreme. It is explicit. It does not belong in front of young children at their school. They should be learning reading, writing, and arithmetic, not this filth. We do not need to be... Everything that she said here, she is absolutely 100% correct. And this is why you have a lot of parents who are taking their children out of these public schools and they are putting them in either private schools. The parents don't mind working two and three jobs just to keep their children in decent schools or they're homeschooling their children. Now, did you take a look at these young, how young these little kids were? sitting up here watching these people teaching you how to twerk and then you have the children whose minds are all confused when it comes to this lgbtq what have you you know all of that stuff you know keep that mess behind closed doors I, you know i i just think they should put it where it's keep it behind closed doors if that's the lifestyle that you choose i'm not knocking nobody because i'm not god or christ keep it behind closed doors like it used to be because you have children out here who are, are confused. They're trying to make it seem like being a homosexual is cool and it's, it's, it's popping. It's like the end thing. You have children who are young, very young, and they're getting their gender changed, going from I used to be a man, but now I'm a, a girl, a boy, and, and, and I used to be a boy, but now I'm a girl. I mean, all, you got teachers, men kissing men, all in front of the children. Children are walking the streets and seeing women hugged up on women and all of this. This is just ridiculous. Now, I understand that you have some people who have a gender identity crisis due to some, some kind of uh, illness or whatever. We're all trying to understand this. This is hard for all of us. Now, I understand what it must be like for a person who's struggling with homosexuality or being attracted to the same sex, the same gender or whatever, you know, this is a lot for everybody. And, and, but when it comes to the schools, this needs to be off limit. I'm sorry. And then they have this other book, how to raise your kid when they're living with two babies. He has two daddies, two mommies. Let me, oh, hold on. It is just crazy out here teaching children all of this um, trying to, how you say, we're trying to be tolerant and understanding to what people are going through. And I am understand. My son is gay. I have other family members that are gay. So if it's anyone who's tolerant, you see, I, it, my son is gay. He's not a homosexual. He went through that, down that path, but now he's on his spiritual journey and he's just gay. He knows how, you know, God feels about things. God created a man and a woman to be together. It is what it is. 
And I love, I love gay men. I prefer gay men rather than heterosexual men because they're more civilized and more humane and they have more class. At the same time, when it comes to transgender, homosexuality, and all of that, I'm going to side with Jesus Christ on that one. I'm going to side with God on that one. You know, because you have a lot of people who are going through that, but they are waking up and they are, you know, exercising self-control and discipline. Think about the apostles. Only two apostles were married. That was John and uh, Judas is a carrier. All the rest, Jesus wasn't married. He had a sex drive, I'm sure. He was healthy. He was per almost perfect. He still had the freedom to choose to do bad or good. But you have the apostles who were just as imperfect as anybody else. And they had to exercise self-control. So if they can do it, so can everybody else. Now, the things that they should be teaching us in school, starting from high, from junior high school, instead of all of this social studies and all of this ancient history nonsense, if you want to learn about that, do that stuff on your own time. But these are the things they should be focusing on and teaching, starting from junior high school. I agree, agree Here with the top. This. Here are five things I wish they taught at school. And if they taught these things at school, then maybe the world would be a better place. Number one, how debt works. Isn't it interesting that through all of school, they don't teach you about credit cards, about personal loans, about finance. You can get a credit card before you can actually learn about how debt works. Isn't that strange? Number two, ways to make money that isn't just getting a job. School is made to pass a test to get a good score, to get a degree, to get a good job. For a lot of people in the world, that pathway is not the pathway for them. For me, the entrepreneurial path was my path. Yes, I've had jobs, but it would have been nice at school if they had showed me that there were other pathways to be successful in life. Number three, what you actually need a degree for. If you're going to be a lawyer or a doctor or something like that, yes, you should get a degree. But if you're going to get a job in sales or marketing or anything like that, you don't need a degree. In fact, a lot of organizations these days that hire for those kinds of roles don't really look at degrees anymore. Number four, life is about making mistakes. I wish school taught this a lot more and a lot sooner. What's interesting with life is the more mistakes somebody makes and keeps standing up and keeps actually learning, the more successful that they will become. However, school is all about avoiding mistakes. You can't have a mistake on the test. Oh my God, imagine if you get something actually wrong. It's so bad, but life is not like that. And number five is how to sell. Selling applies in every part of life. From selling an idea to selling a product to selling yourself at an interview. Selling is everywhere. And it's one of the highest paid positions in the world if you're good at it. And yet it's not taught at school. It's not taught at university either. So if school was to teach these five things, I believe the world would be a far better place. What I agree with him. You know, they need to teach you in junior high how to invest in real estate, how to work the stock market. Like he said, how to have other jobs, how to do other things besides working for someone else. They definitely need to teach in junior high and high school. You shouldn't have to go to college. I went to college and I studied business management to some degree. I also went to John Jay, study of criminal law, criminal justice. And then I went to Columbia University for a while because I worked there. So I got to take some classes for free. But, you know, the things that they need to be focusing on, teaching us how to, how to save money, how to invest your money, teach uh, uh, men and women to learn abstinence, teach them how we understand that you have a sex drive and all the above, but, you know, you're growing up to be mature adults. And a part of being an adult is learning discipline, self-control, and not being impulsive and instant gratification. They need to focus on teaching the things that are needed. Teach, you know, I hear people, the, the rich people say only poor people pay taxes because the rich people, they know how to send their money out to other countries so they can avoid paying taxes. Teach people how to do that. Instead of all of this extra how to twerk and, 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 and gym, gym classes, you know, teach people about economics straight from junior high school. 
Those are the necessary and the things that we sincerely need. How do you feel about that? Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.